Hello and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials. My name is Rebecca Escott and I'm super excited to bring to you another dirty pour with a V shape. And as you can see, I've already taped the tumbler off and I've got the sections painted white and that's where the dirty pour is going to go. I'm using a couple of throwaways to help keep my tumbler perched during the dirty pour as well as the dry time. So because I'm using Fluid Art from Deco Art, these are already ready to pour. I'm using lavender and lemon for this project today. Because I do not have to mix my paints with water, I just put them all into one cup. You can use more colors or you can just use two colors and that's what we're doing today. I really kind of wanted more yellow and a hint of the purple and I know it looks like I'm pouring a lot, but at the ends you'll soon see it was just the right amount. So I'm stirring, but I'm not stirring. You really do not want to stir the dirty pours. I'm just giving it a little smidge of a mix and then you're ready to pour it onto your tumbler. So the most important thing when doing dirty pours is to make sure you have enough paint for full coverage. So here I'm just going to use the popsicle stick just to make sure if there's any white spots, I can fill it in with the paint that's dripped down to the bottom. In this case, it, I pretty much have full coverage and now I'm going to set this off into a safe space and allow this to dry for 24 hours. Once your tumbler is completely dry, we're going to go ahead and pull back the tape. I am going to use an X-Acto knife to cut with the, against the paint and against my painter's tape just to make sure when I'm pulling this painter's tape off that I'm not pulling the paint with it. Just take your time when removing the painter's tape. So I'm going to use AB Designs Beautiful Pearl. It's a metallic fine. And I'm also going to use Mod Podge in the center where it's white. Now you can see there's a couple of blemishes. Not a big deal. You can go ahead and paint that in with acrylic white paint. Allow that to dry and then proceed with your glitter. In this case, I'm moving forward because I took it took two coats of the glitter to remove those blemishes. So when you apply your Mod Podge, you want to then apply the glitter, allow it to dry, and then seal it really, really well. And then if you need to do another coat, you can then do the exact same process over again. Once you have gotten all your coats of glitter applied to your tumbler, making sure that you've cleaned up the sides and the excess glitter before you seal it. So once you have sprayed your last coat of seal, and you've allowed dry time, you're then ready to go ahead with your first coat of epoxy. Okay, I've already applied my second coat of glitter and I am now ready to go ahead with the first coat of epoxy, which is gonna be Glitter Craze from Quickset. So for me, it only takes about two to three hours for my quick set to completely dry. This will vary depending upon your temperatures.
If you have sealed your glitter really, really well, then you don't have to be concerned about your glitter shifting onto the rest of the tumbler. As with any coats of epoxy, you wanna make sure you hit it with the torch just to pop any bubbles that you may or may not be able to see. Once your tumbler is dry, you can move on to your, your tattoo and or your decal. So we're ready and I am super excited about this tattoo. Um, so I'm gonna show you once again how we're gonna place this, but I'm gonna put it right there where the section is white. Here I'm just kind of spinning it so you guys can see just how beautiful the dirty pour actually looks under epoxy. So just as a reminder, tattoos are not the same as water slides. So please make sure that your placement is spot on and you've eyeballed it, you've measured it, whatever the case may be, make sure it's right where you want it to be so that when you place it, that's it, you can't move it. Be sure to remove the plastic liner that protects the tattoo. It has like a sticky base, so once I lie, lay it on the tumbler, I'm just gonna give it a good press down. But I am gonna continue to hold it just so that it doesn't shift. I'm just gonna use a rag this time. I'm gonna put it into my water and I'm just gonna soak the entire tattoo. It's totally okay if you oversaturate it. The more water, the better. There was a slight wrinkle right there and I just took my thumb and pushed it out. Once your paper starts to slip, which you will soon see, um, that's when you know that it's ready. And here we go, we are now ready to go ahead and remove the tattoo and I'm just gonna slide it right off the tumbler. I have a lot of favorite tumblers, but guys, I gotta be honest with you, I think this one takes it. This is absolutely stunning. I absolutely love the fact that it's just simple. It's black and white. It's got a little bit of colors going on there. This is fantastic. And I do allow this to completely dry overnight before coming in with a coat of epoxy. So for this coat of epoxy, once again, I'm gonna go ahead with uh, Glitter Craze from Quick Set, and I'm going to add in Snow Caps, which is an epoxy additive. I only used a pinch that I've already mixed into my epoxy, and it just gave it a nice, beautiful, shimmering shine. It's beautiful. As with any coats of epoxy, make sure you use your torch to pop any bubbles that you may or may not be able to see. Please stay tuned to the end so you guys can get close-ups of this and the picture montage at the ends. I want to thank you all so much for joining me in on this tutorial. And if you liked and enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials coming soon.